Hello everyone and welcome to the podcast for Sabotage Part 2. Another fantastic episode tonight. The opening scene was awesome. Like many, I love scenes when many characters are, you know, all involved and, you know, from the slightly bitchy Fiona to the excited, unaware Eli, you know, it was just awesome. Yeah, I didn't expect Eli to personally visit Asher. That came to as a surprise to me. You know, just the way that whole scene happened and how he found out was definitely pretty good and, you know, he still didn't know everything at that point yet. Um, Imogen had a great line with the I hate spoilers. As we know in the Degrassi universe, spoilers are always leaking and things are coming out and everything. So I thought that was a pretty funny line. Of course, Imogen again with the confetti cannon, you know, yelling and screaming into it. Absolutely hilarious. Now the party, not the best of the Degrassi parties that we've seen, but still a good one. You know, the hockey team is there and you knew things were going to go crazy. Aislinn was just fantastic again tonight. She is so good. Amazing actress. You know, the scene with her and Eli as she finally revealed the truth behind everything. And, you know, she's crying and Eli doesn't go crazy. And he's comforting her. It was just an all-around fantastic scene. You know, then we go right to a huge fight. The Claire and Katie high-five was great. You know, just the, the looks on both their faces, like, huh? You know, and kind of the high five, you know, fantastic. Imogen finally gets the confetti cannon to go off, also great as well. You know, and then we have an ending with Claire asking Eli if he's going to do something to Asher, and he says, no, we are you know, together. And they kind of have another couple moment, which I actually enjoyed. Because they haven't been, you know, so much in our face lately. And and they fought a little bit this episode. And, you know, now everything's okay. And they're going to work together, you know, to get Asher. I think the plot with Eli, you know, and Claire mainly has been fantastic, you know, for season 12. Especially in these past few episodes. Especially even in tonight and last night's episode. You know, I have nothing but positive praise for everything involved in this plot. And I am very excited for, you know, the conclusion of Asher and find out, you know, what is going to happen to him. The plot with Dave, it was sad that they broke up because I did like Dave and Allie, but it was well done. Once again, you know, a lot of emotion in that one and, you know, it was just kind of a plot that I guess needed to to happen. It wasn't something that necessarily was super exciting, but I understand why they did it and I do want to see, you know, what will happen throughout the season, if maybe they're going to get back together, or if they really are completely done. The plot with Drew, I thought, once again, also was fantastic as well. You know, his mom showed up and had a great scene, you know, with her son. Parents this season have been fantastic. I really hope throughout the rest of the season and in the future, they still are keeping the parents around. Fiona and Drew had a great scene as well. She brought him lunch to work and... You know, just him saying, you know, he's so out of the loop and everything when Dallas came talking about Claire. That was definitely, you know, a funny, you know, cute little line that he had. And I love the advice that Fiona gave Drew. You know, she never gave up. And I was hoping Drew wouldn't move out. And I don't think he officially has yet. But, you know, I hate when certain storylines end too quickly. You know, so even though this one might be ending, I do like that Fiona gave the advice. You know, she never gave up, and, you know, she was on her own, and that is something I really admire in the character of Fiona. And when Drew was talking about opening the, you know, bank account with Bianca, I was like, yes, thank God they did not do, you know, a cliche proposal or promise ring. And then, of course, a few minutes later, they do a proposal. Now, while the proposal I thought, you know, kind of cheesy and cliche, like I said, it was still a good scene because both of the actors in it are fantastic. You know, Alicia and Luke are great. And they really worked well in the scene together, and it was, you know, believable and and good. I don't know how I feel necessarily about this proposal slash, you know, promised proposal. But I love Drew. I love where everything is going with that. I love Bianca, and I have faith in the writers that they'll be able to do something great with it. And now we have just two episodes left, tomorrow night and Thursday. 
for the summer season of Degrassi. Everything's just been great this season. Everyone's been totally on their game. Fantastic acting. The storylines have been interesting. And I really think we're going to be in store for a great finale. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will talk to you all tomorrow.